Hello there, everybody. This is Steve, and I uh, saw this on Facebook, a question about creating like a barrel dormer. So I thought I'd do this quick video. First thing, I got this little house here. I'm going to put a roof on it. My pitch is defined as 12-12. So we'll build roof planes. Voila, got a roof. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tile these. You go over here to the plan view, select these roof planes, use transform replicate, and lower them 30 minus 36 inches. And now you see this line right here. That's the intersection of the flat ceiling with the pitch ceiling. So, and we got the start of a dormer here. As you can tell, the window's sticking up through the roof. So, let's go to plan view. And the first thing I like to do is just draw a polyline here, the width of my dormer. So in this case, I'm going to make it 72 inches, 6 feet wide take this polyline and center it on the window and then use these lines to break this wall so command B break right there and break right here and now this this wall is an individual wall by itself then I grab this triangle and drag this wall back to about this dotted line right here and the other thing I use this for is to get this main layer lined up right on this wall here like that open this wall command E and click roof cuts wall at bottom then copy this wall and reflect it about the window so you have two walls equal length on each side now we can get rid of this polyline and we need to pull this main roof back to create this dormer if you look at it now we have the walls but we don't really have a dormer so select this wall then hit your three key pick up this drywall line and break that right there and break it right there then take this section of the roof and pull it back now we have the roof going under these walls on purpose because we told those cheek walls right there to be roof cuts wall at bottom so um, the next thing we need to do is put a roof this barrel roof on here so I hit the Q key I'm gonna create a roof right here it's gonna ask you do I want it over the walls yes so uh, I'm gonna open this and I am going to change the pitch to zero to make a flat roof and I'm actually gonna lower the baseline about eight inches because it's I just know from experience it's sticking way up I'm gonna pull this roof out a little bit in front of this here pull it back a little open it again and click down here curved roof and I'm gonna set this to be about 40 degrees and then change your facet angle to maybe three or four I don't it doesn't matter and now um, we can see we have the basic starting here of our barrel dormer it's looking pretty good actually and um, the other thing you can do is take the gutter off we don't need a gutter um, maybe not a box Steve let's see what that looks yeah that won't look good well the other thing I like to do is to take this pull it back to the stone face here or whatever the face is you'll have and then drag it out use the tab key maybe minus six same on this side drag the spiral roof back to the face and then pull it out hit your tab key and go six inches and um, over here it looks pretty good except for the fact that chief doesn't seem to want to draw um, our freeze boards very well so I don't know if changing the size would make any difference maybe make them 10 see what happens now nah, they still don't join it's a chief thing I don't know what to tell you um, sometimes I just take them off and draw them in myself but uh, the next thing you got to do is marry these two roofs so you can click right here hit your two key click up here and there you go and uh, if we look here closely you can see oh hold on one second folks use the 3d center right there and then you can see inside and of course there's always a little something with chief and sometimes if these don't work like this you can just click here drag it a little bit and it'll fill in 
Same over here. Maybe I just didn't pull those cheek walls back far enough. That could be that. But that looks pretty good. And um, it's too bad we can't get this to build correctly here. But maybe if I change it back to uh, box Steve, see what happens. Eh, then it builds better. So maybe that's what you want to do. And uh, maybe pull this just a little bit. I don't want to do it in this view. Pull this roof out just a little bit more. And, um, huh, there you go. Then I've also, also at the time or two, put a uh, shadow board on here. And I use a crown mold, just a small crown, say like this or like this. And retain aspect ratio, I usually make it like two and a quarter or something. It doesn't matter. Hit OK. And then add, that'll add that little molding on there. Make it look a little more refined, but of course it screwed up your freeze. It's always something. So, Chief's tools don't work perfect, what can I tell you? I, I didn't write the software, so I don't know why that happens. You might take the freeze off altogether. Um, here, just delete it. And then just draw what you want on there with polyline solids. Um, and you might play a little bit with this height here. Use transform replicate. Maybe move it down six inches. Then remarry these two roofs. Oops. Select this one. Select this one. There you go. And sometimes it screws up on the inside. So, eh. You have your soffit peeling through. Uh, you guys can write chief and ask them why that does that. I have no idea. But um, there you go. There's your barrel dormer. I hope that helps.